Yo, what is going on guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are going on another adventure, but this time, Justine is not canceling on us like she did when Jenna and I, who's holding the camera, say hello. Hello. Turn around. Let's see your face. Hello. Nice. Oh. We're going on an adventure. We've made a pact that we will explore more of California. So I am actually right in the middle of making Hot Pockets for Jenna, Justine, and I because this is a tasty snack and will help us stay full for the rest of the day and everything that we're doing. So, ooh, Jenna, Jenna. Yes, what? <gasps> Jenna's a vegetarian. But personal pockets. <laughs> but personal pockets. Four cheese, baby. Wait, garlic, wait a minute, garlic buttery crust? I'm gonna get these made. We gotta go because we don't have much light, and for what we're doing, I still can't believe we're doing what we're doing today. I'm so Jenna, excited. I'll tell you guys when we get in the car, but... We're going to have a lot of time and traffic to yeah, talk about it. How, how did we even decide to go to the place that we're going? Stop gotta go. We are running out of time. Play. I've got the hot pockets. I think you're the only person I know that just sticks them in there and doesn't use a plate. It's okay. I'm an expert at making hot pockets. I've been doing it for a very long time. You leave me alone. Take a bite. You, you gotta fix it. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm eating my pocket. You are. All right, yeah, we do have to go. Savage. All right, let's go. So we are weathering the LA storm as we speak right now. It is five o'clock on a Friday and we are on the 405, which means it is going to take us an hour and a half to go nine miles. I know I talk about traffic a lot in LA, but nine miles, an hour and a half, that is a lot. We gotta just walk. Yeah. So we are going to a place that we've been before, but we're going this time specifically for one reason. One reason that doesn't really even make sense for Jenna and Justine, because I mean, this blew my mind when I heard it, and hopefully it has the same effect on you guys. Jenna and Justine have never seen Harry Potter. They have never read the books. They have never watched the movies. They have never taken part in the fan lore of the Harry entire Potter's Harry Potter wand. world. To be fair, I've been to Harry Potter in Florida. Why do you have a Harry Potter wand if you've never watched or read the books or movies? Because I was in there and the sorting hat was sorting and- You don't I even know what the sorting hat is. A I know. You don't know I what- I read the f half of the first book. Yeah, no. The big book. No. I'll... Yes, I did. The this hat was like chose me, Matt. This was like 10 years the ago. The hat chose you? The hat chose what, where, me. What, what house did it send you to? Pick one. It sent me to Pickle Dwarf. Pickle Dwarf. Pickle Dwarf. Yeah. You guys are Slytherin for I'm, sure. I'm I'm Gryffindor. I also saw the first movie. You you no. Watched, no wait, I now saw they're making them. up. Now they're making things up, guys. I saw them drive Ow. a shopping cart through the wall. It's too loud. The reason why this is important, guys, is because we're going to Universal, and they have a newly installed Harry Potter world. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys. Well, we'll see you in an hour and a half. Come on. Get with it. What do they call people with no magical powers? Peasants. Norms. N normal. Muggles. Yeah, I knew that! You guys are muggles. Since you guys have never seen, oh, it's so bright. Wow. Since you guys have never seen uh, Harry Potter, you guys have to buy my ticket to get inside the park. That's how it works. Those are the rules. I don't make them, I just enforce them. I thought we were on a date. Yeah, I thought we were on a date. Uh, well, it depends on what you call a date. Thank you. Jenna, an hour and a half later, we finally made it. Woo. Are you ready to meet Harry Potter? I get to meet him? No, you don't get to meet him. Let me run down some things so that you guys don't look like a bunch of muggles when we get in there. I no muggle. You know what? Oh God, I ain't no muggle. Stop. All right, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. Those Ravenclaw? are the four houses. Okay. What about the Sorting Hat? Wait, wait, get the him. Sorting Hat. That's He's... how you find out which house you're going into. I'm going to the Hufflepuff. He's in Gryffindor. I'm in Hufflepuff. Stop. I'm going to Hufflepuff. 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 I can't be here with you. 
I'm gonna be giving Jenna and Justine a hard time the entire day. But in reality, I'm actually really excited for them to go to Harry Potter World just because it was such a big part of my childhood and I'm sure it was the same for a lot of you guys. I just have a lot of great memories. What J.K. Rowling brought to life with Harry Potter in the movies and the books and everything. So I'm excited for them to experience it for real, in real life. We gotta get Butterbeer. This is it. We're at Hufflepuff! You Let's gotta go. stop. You know what it's called. Dumbledore. There you go. Nice job. Guys, this is it. You gotta get excited. It smells like muggles in here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Hogsmeade, right? Jenna just did history lesson. This is where kids from Hogwarts, right. they would sneak here and have fun. And that's what we're doing. We're sneaking into Hogsmeade and we're having fun. Yes. Don't Yay. look now. But right behind you, <laughs> that's Hogwarts. <gasps> we gotta go! Yeah. What? experience is about to begin. If you would, kindly silence your muggle devices. Thank you. Welcome to all of us, makers of fine wands. You have come to witness a wand fitting. You are most welcome, but please remain silent. Phoenix tail feathers and the heart strings of dragons. And no two Ollivanders wands the same. Just made two phoenixes, dragons, and unicorns are quite the same. Ah, do you see those wand boxes right up there? I should like you to levitate one of them. Give your wand away and say, Wingardium Leviosa. First experience, what did you think about Hogwarts? It was, I had a really good time. Yeah? Did you, ha did you have any idea what was going on? Yes. Did you understand anything? Yeah, we were trying to escape the dragons and the, the creatures. We, we played Quidditch. We did a lot of things. We did. I couldn't take the camera in there, so you guys didn't get to experience the ride, but it was a very good time. Reparo! Jenna. Yes? It's finally time. Are you excited? Oh, I'm shaking in my pants. <laughs> we are about to try Butterbeer. Now, here's the thing. In Harry Potter, I don't remember the butterbeer coming out of a slushy machine. <laughs> Use your imagination. I, yeah, you know, mass quantities, they can't make it happen everywhere, so. Magic. A little less magic here. That's ours, right? Yes. Nice. Wow. Wait, do you guys really put fake foam on it? Yes. Oh my god. I gotta see that. She says yes. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> my childhood is a lie. Okay, Jenna and Justine, I want you guys to try the yes, but. Wrong? What are you doing? You're, You're not supposed to try it. it yet. Oh God, is it good? Okay, <laughs> Jenna's gonna try Butterbeer in front of Sirius Black. Uh, uh he's he's intimidating. You no, know, I'm so scared. He's wanted. He's a very nice man. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, I am living my well, best life. That tastes life. like a melted creamsicle. Does it really actually taste good? I haven't. I don't think I've ever had Butterbeer. Try this. No. Well, what am I gonna miss? Oh! That foam is delightful! You guys like it? Are you a fan of Harry Potter now? This is so good. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, uh, we have frozen butterbeer as well. Let's not let Matt have any. No. I appreciate you purchasing this for us, though. Foam is even good. Well, that is like a melted cream skull. Justine is such a dum dum that anytime we talk about Harry Potter, she just yells out the only name she knows. Dumbledore, Dumbledore, Dumbledore. I know Harry Potter, okay. Give me three adjectives that describe your experience with Harry Potter Land and Butterbeer. Fun, exciting, tasty. Are we gonna watch the movies now? Yeah. Can we, can we actually do a Harry Potter movie we, marathon? We can, let's do it. You swear to God. I swear. Can we go to the zoo as well? Okay, what? Come on, come on, come on, I don't know. I just come to give up. You just wanna throw it in there since we're all saying yes to things? I got a lot of things I can throw in there that I'd like you to say yes to. What's that? Uh, three adjectives, go. Frothy, sweet, butterscotch. Your adjectives were a lot better than Jenna's, I will say. Very well thought out. 
Oh, thanks. <laughs> I had thought about it. There's so much sugar in here. I'm freaking out. Hey, you have, I'm cutting you <laughs> off. Give me the butter beer. You drink that no, whole thing? No, leave me alone. I'm super silly. It's a head thing. It's empty. She just stepped right on him. <laughs> okay, Jenna. So this is a very important. I think this was in the first movie when Ron and Harry were on the train together. Harry Potter has stacks in the bank. And so he wants to buy the whole lot. He bought the whole lot. You know what that means? You know when you go on a plane and they have like a drink and a beverage service? Well, he bought that, like the whole cart but of candy. And so there's chocolate frogs Is that, that move. Is that what you're here to do for me? Yeah, we're gonna, well, we're not gonna buy the whole store. <laughs> but we are gonna get some chocolate frogs. Take, uh, take some more butter beer. I can't. We're, we're, we gotta get chocolate frogs. Take this one and this one. I'm gonna get a peppermint toad as well. Goodbye, Harry Potter land. I had a nice time. Did you guys have fun? I had the I best am time. Slytherin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you guys a gift on the way out. Please do, I like gifts. More butter beer. More yes. butter beer. No, we gotta get them. Come on, we gotta get the light ups. Jenna, do you want a pair? No, we gotta go get Maddie. What? Light up Yeezys. We lost Justine. She's gonna be lost and alone and get taken. But, oh, cool. Let's get the shoes. But light up Yeezys. They're not Yeezys. Yes, they are. Believe. They're, they're Feezys. Feez <laughs> Universal Studios, it's been real. I appreciate a very, very fun day and I will be back again. While you guys were finishing up your meals, I went and did a little bit of shopping and I got you both. This is, <laughs> this is not for you. I got you both presents. Thanks. Scoot in. Now you guys have to figure out which one's for which. Ooh, and then hey. we gotta see if they fit. Uh -oh. Hey, come here. Oh, Addy Bear. Gryffindor. Thank you. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's perfect. Slytherin. You guys both grabbed the sweatshirts I intended for both of you. What does it even mean? Maddie, what's this? Slytherin's, uh, that's the good one. That's the one you want to be I want to be Slytherin? Yeah. Well, why, no why would I want to be? Oh my god. <laughs> my thick chest. Uh, help. Help, help, my breast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, it is very teeny. Is it really small? Why would you do this to us? <laughs> oh, no. Are they both really, that actually Help, does? my chest. I thought extra small was going to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very sweet. Thank you so much for my gift. All right, stand up. Let us see you. <laughs> now what do we do? We go uh, to bed. Wait, except like I go to my bed, you go to your bed, and you go to your bed. <laughs> oh. You know, people like to say that they're fans of Harry Potter, but are you really? Are you really supporting the franchise as much as you possibly can? Because I know that I'm doing my part. Cringe. Things got a little out of hand when I was leaving Universal Studios and uh, oh, you wouldn't believe how expensive these things are. Now you have a Halloween costume. I do. Well, usually first years, they go into Hogwarts in the dining hall and they have this feast and they go up to the front of the stage in front of all the other students in the front of the faculty and they put the sorting hat on there and he talks and he says, mm -hmm, this is so... Wait, the hat talks? Yeah, the hat talks. Are you kidding me? You didn't know that? He's got a mouth and everything. I even knew that. He says, show, let, show me the mouth. He, he goes, mm, this is interesting. <laughs> mm -mm. Wow. <laughs> he says, mm. You have the potential for great things. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you, would, you would excel in Slytherin. <laughs> And then Harrison in the charity saying, Not Slytherin, not Slytherin, not Slytherin. <laughs> and then he says, Gryffindor! And the entire dining hall erupts. And they're cheering and they're cheering. Go on, Harry! Congratulations! I wonder what kind of things they use these wands for. Jab, jab. <laughs> jab, jab, jab. Get naked, jab. Espeliamus. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. We're gonna do the outro. We're gonna do the outro. Guys. 
Th thank you very much for tuning into the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed our day here at Universal Studios in Harry Potter Land. I'm gonna go. Isn't Harry Potter World? I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera here. <laughs> um, Justine, mm. welcome to Slytherin. Jenna, we always knew you had it in you to be in Gryffindor. Congratulations. Thank you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Please drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed. Um, Jenna and Justine's links in the description below. I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm exhausted from all the fun I had today. Okay. YouTube, we'll see you later. Goodbye.